Hey guys! Okay, so this video is going to be a bit more serious and in-depth. Basically, I'm going to tell you guys all about my skin, about my struggle with acne throughout the years. So, I guess to start off, I remember for the first time getting zits when I was in the fourth grade. Yes, the fourth grade. I was very small. I remember I, was, I would get like zits on my nose. Um, it just progressed, progressed. Um, in fifth and sixth grade, I don't think it was very bad. In seventh grade, it probably, you know, got a little bit more, I don't know, I probably had mild acne, I would say, until eighth grade. And then it was pretty much moderate. And then recently, not right now, but recently, um... I would say from like December of 2009 to April, May, yeah, of 2010, I had very, very severe acne. Now, I did not record videos at this time. Um, when I started my videos, I was just beginning to clear up my skin, I guess if that makes sense. So, you're not, you don't need to like go back and check because I didn't even start making videos until April. So you won't be able to really see that. I had absolutely awful acne. I am not exaggerating. It was very, very severe. And I tried literally everything. I know everyone says that, but if you go through severe acne, you know how annoying it is to just try every single thing. And you know what? You don't want to wait. It says, you know, see, to wait 12 weeks to see results. You're like, I don't have 12 weeks. I want to get my skin cleared. Used Proactive for like a year. Proactive was okay. I don't, I don't even think Proactive started working for me until like three months in. So it took a while, but it was okay. It was pretty drying to my skin, but um, probably throughout, you know, the middle of the cycle that I was using it, it was working pretty well, I would say. But then, no, I don't want Proactive anymore. So for Christmas of 2009, I asked for the Clinique three-step system, and that's what I wanted to try. And that's where the downhill basically started. At the end of December, it, my acne just took a plunge. And by February, it was the worst I think it's ever been in my entire life. I didn't want to look at myself. I just couldn't see myself without makeup. Just trying to cover up all that, you know, redness and acne because I was just so embarrassed. It seems like it seemed like none of the other girls at school had this problem. They all had amazing skin and they didn't even have to wear makeup and there I was just caked on foundation just trying to cover up everything. And you know what? That's when I gave up on the Clinique 3 step. I gave that thing like 2 months and it was it didn't do anything for me. So I would not recommend that. A lot of people actually love that system. I didn't use the one specific for acne. I just used the one for my skin type, which was dry combination. So, um, didn't like that at all. Um, I used some, like, natural thing by, like, Burt's Bees or something. I used that for, like, two weeks. That did nothing. Um, I, then I tried the Clean and Clear, that silver and purple kit from the drugstore. I tried that for like, I gave that a good like, probably almost two months to work for me. That was horrible. That's when it just started to get very out of hand. So all of those things were not working for me. I was just trying anything and everything that I had heard of to just clear my acne. I just wanted to try anything. Um, basically, I think in February, I started asking my mom, I was saying, can I just go see a dermatologist, please, mom? Can I just go see a dermatologist? She said, no, you know, it costs $300 to get into the dermatologist, blah, blah, blah. We're not doing that. Um, I would ask her again and again and again. And finally, um, at the end of March, she just said, you know, we tried everything. We're going to the dermatologist. And I said, thank you, mom. Thank you. Um, hopefully, this will do something for me. So um, I remember the exact day, April 10th. I believe. It was a Thursday. Over spring break, I went to the dermatologist for the first time. <clears throat> they looked at me and they said, you know, sweetie, you have severe acne. They told me if I was willing to go on Accutane, which if you guys don't know what Accutane is, you can Google it. It's a very, very, very severe, harsh drug for a very bad acne. You have to qualify pretty much to go on it. Um, you know, they took one look at me and said, we want to put you on Accutane. My mom was pretty much a very against Accutane. I myself didn't really want to go on it. The summer was coming up and it makes you very, very sensitive to the sun. 
So I was just saying, eh, I don't know. So they said, you know, we'll give you a month. We're going to put you on some stuff and we're gonna, you're going to come back. And if we see progress in you, then um, you won't need to go on Accutane. They gave me antibiotic called Solodine. They gave me a topical called Acanya. And they just told me to stop pretty much using anything except for Cetaphil cleanser and a moisturizer. I would use the topical gel. Um... In the nighttime, and then I would take my pill Solodine once per day. So that's all I did for the first month. Um, I went back, and yes, I did. I did see progress. It took a while; probably took you know three weeks for me to start seeing progress. It wasn't instant at all. Um, I went back, and they said it's looking better. We don't think we're gonna put you on Accutane anymore. Just keep doing this. And I believe it was the second time, maybe the third time. I told them that the scarring was really my problem. The scarring was what was really bad for me. So she gave me some little different samples. So that's basically all I've been using. If you guys watch my skincare routine that I filmed in May, you can see pretty much what I use day to day. It's, I still use those same things. The only thing that's changed is the little different samples. I use I use that to help with scarring, basically. So I've been to, I go back to the dermatologist every month, and for the past three times, they've given me a like chemical peel that's supposed to help gradually fade my scarring as well as the different so that's basically what I've been doing and I guess you could say maybe end of May I started to really really see a difference in my skin basically I was just realizing why am I using all these harsh products like none of this was ever working so um basically I just went really easy you know as I said if you watch my skincare routine it's pretty gentle stuff that I use but um I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what happened with me and what my story is with acne. So right now, um, I would say my acne is probably like 85% clear, active acne, but I was left with very, very severe scars from my acne. I'm wearing makeup right now, but I'm going to go ahead and take my face makeup off and hopefully give you guys a better view of my progress and basically what it's like now. But if you watch one of my makeup routine the beginning of May you will see my horrible horrible very very red I'm not exaggerating scarring and it's kind of faded since then so I'm gonna go ahead and take off my makeup and I'll be right back all right so now I am pretty much bare face except for my eye makeup and you guys can probably start to see the scarring that I'm talking about um I have bad scarring like here's one and I'm left with some here. Um, there is some on my forehead, but that's gradually, like, going down. I have, like, an active zit. <laughs> I have a zit over here right now, which is not good. My cheeks are very clear. If I run my hands over my forehead, I don't feel any active pimples. Um, you can just basically see scarring there, this redness, pretty much. And then on my chin, I have some bad scars here. I have a lot around my mouth. Like, on this side, I have a zit here. I have, like, two zits right now. Like, one here and one here. I used to literally have 50 on my face at one time. I had so many zits, I couldn't even freaking count them. Like, all over my head, all over my chin. It was disgusting. <laughs> so, now that I only have two, I'm a little bit more happy. So, I haven't really shown myself without face makeup since May. So, I just thought um, I would share with you guys, like, my journey, my struggles, Basically, okay, the one thing I want you guys to get out of this video, if you are struggling with acne, you need, need, need to go see a dermatologist. I'm telling you, it's the best thing. They look up close at your skin. They're professionals. They'll tell you what will work for your skin. I'm telling you, it's the best thing you can do. That's what helped me after struggling for my entire life, basically. Well, not my entire life, but since like elementary school, I struggled with acne. You have acne. I know, I know that it's a struggle. I know it's horrible. It's embarrassing. And it's just, it's one of the worst things. It's just, I can't describe it. I mean, obviously I still have like some scarring, so I'm still struggling with some issues myself, you know. I, my goal is just to not even have to wear a foundation. I just kind of, that's my goal. I want the skin that, like, you don't even have to wear makeup. So, I mean, I just want to get rid of these scars. I just want to get done with acne for good. So, basically, that's the best advice I can give you. Hopefully, I will update you guys in a few months on how I'm doing. You know, who knows? My acne could come back. Hopefully not, but 
expect an update in um, a couple of months on my skin, and I hope you guys enjoyed this and learned something. I'll talk to you later. Bye.